Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Christian, how are you? Bye. And you, how you doing? I'm doing great, actually. I've been working all day. Oh, nice. A little bit tired, but nah. it's Monday. Yeah. Yes, I feel the same. Likewise, that you're saying that. Likewise. Okay, let's wait for the others. So, how was the office today, or did you go to the airport? What? Did you go to the airport today? Yes, that's the reason because that I feel uh, tired. That's the reason why. That's the reason why, sorry, yes. Hmm. I see. Let's wait for the others. Let's see what's going on. I feel like if we were in the middle of the of the year. Good evening. Hey Jorge, good evening. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good, but Monday is difficult. Why? Because I have to wake up so early. Yep. Three and a half. Three thirty. Three thirty. That's crazy. Good evening. But it's okay. Since five years ago, I every monday i wake up at that at this time you wake up at that time 3 30 a.m how how do you do to wake up um i i just put the alarm <laughs> two alarms you said you said the alarm I set the alarm. And you leave the phone far away. Yes, in the phone and also in the in the watch. Oh, okay. So it's most of all discipline at this point. Yes. In fact, uh, my biological clock. <laughs> <laughs> Your biological, biological clock. Biolog bi biological <laughs> clock. Yes. It's very efficient. Yes, I am ready at 3.30. You wake up before the alarm rings? Uh, sometimes, but in... Other cases, I wake up uh, before the the alarm rings. Mm -hmm. good. Okay, uh, we are just six so far.
give them some minutes before we start. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello. How is it going? Good. Very well. Fine. Excellent. Terrific. <laughs> uh, what about your day? A mm. uh, busy day today. New look, Carlos. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I don't know. How do you say that? How do you say that? <laughs> you, you are younger than than the last Friday. You trim yeah, you, you look young. You look pretty good. You trim your hair mm -hmm. or did you cut your hair? No the you shaved. My, you shaved. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. I did. <laughs> That's good. Was a difficult decision, Carlos? Uh no. Sometimes I I did. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sometimes it's I like do. the hair of, in, in the women's when we paint our our hair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, For me, it's because in the, in the company uh, they 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 had told me that. I look a little young without the so and and for my 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 job and I don't know the, uh, the most of the the accountant are are, are older I don't know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are the kid of the company. <laughs> no, no, I'm folk. <laughs> okay, nice conversation. Good. So you don't want, you don't like to follow the trend. Being old, looking old. <laughs> it's the trend at your job. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I think we can start. We are eight now. So let me see Silvia Solima, Diego, Nelson, and Marilena hasn't they haven't speak they haven't spoken. They haven't spoken. Okay. Anyways, let's do the attendance. Uh please turn on your camera. If your camera is off, we have to do the attendance. Make sure your camera is on. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Melendez Santos. Cristian Natalie Erazo Rogel. Present. Diana Elizabeth Chereguino Martinez. Diego Armando López Rivas. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Camera, please. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Mario José Valle Castaneda. 
Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Presente. Norma Carolina Villeda Ábalos. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Presente. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. And Wendy Maribel Cebaleta Ochoa. Present teacher. Thank you. Hey, Tintiana just joined us. Okay. So we're nine now. We can do trios. Okay. Yes, good evening, teacher. Hi, thank you, Diana. Okay, so tonight uh, we are supposed to review all the topics from last week. Do um, a review of the midterm as well. So we will go step by step for you to recall or to remember the previous information. Um, and we have a glossary that we have to study, some training vocabulary. I'll give you a link so we can study new terms about training. And we will try to keep it fun, of course. So tonight, Manuel is not here yet. Same. Okay, we're, we're going to start with a very easy question. Mm. Oh, but this is negative. Hold on. I don't want anything negative. Manuel is not here yet as well. Okay. So let's start with an easy question so we can practice a grammar topic that you have forgotten most likely at this point you have already forgotten this topic what is the grammar tense on this question guys what's the grammar tense what do you do when you're bored what do you do when you're bored a simple present Mm -hmm. There you go. That is simple present. So really quick, as we have been studying during the last week, let's review the simple present. This in theory is very simple. Number one, you use it for routines, right? Okay. What other uses do you know about the simple present? There's like five different uses. When we say I used to. Mm. Hmm. I usually. I usually, okay. Uh -huh. De hecho, vamos a hacer una cosa que no hice en la sesión pasada, hablando del último tiempo gramatical. Alguien que me dé una oración en presente simple en español adultos a ver una oración en presente simple en español yo duermo <risas> ok yo duermo con qué frecuencia yo duermo eh, todas las tardes ok good otro ejemplo Wendy? Um, yo, yo trabajo todos los días. Excellent. Very good. Carlos? Yo como todos los días. Mm -hmm. Jorge? Yo corro cinco veces a la semana. Tan fácil como eso, ¿no? Rutinas. Okay, so let's move on. That simple present in Spanish, don't forget, 
is a routine, it's something that you do every day, okay? You can also use this grammar tense to describe, but here you need to use the verb to be, okay? It is big, it is late, um, it's funny, it's fat, you may describe people as well, etc. right? That's to describe, that's just the verb to be and that's simple present to. What else do you need uh, the simple present for? No, 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 I mean, uses, uses. What about talking about future? Can you talk in the future using the simple present? Let's say schedule events. Schedule events, okay? The train leaves at eight from the station every Monday. Next Monday, the train leaves at eight. The train leaves at eight next Monday. As simple as that. And you use this grammar tense as well for processes. Hmm. Processes. For example, first, you heat up the oven. Second, you make the mixture for the bread. Then, after that, later, third, up next, and you narrate a process using connectors. As easy as that, okay? Okay. Yep. So that's basically the uses, the most relevant uses. You can also use this grammar tense to talk about things that are truth, that are completely truth. For example, water, oh, sorry, water melts under the sun. I'm sorry, water, no, ice. Ice melts under the sun. True facts, you see? True facts. And this is called a zero conditional. Okay? Zero conditional. Ice melts under, if left under the sun, for example. If you leave ice under the sun, it melts. If it rains, you get wet. If I eat um, too many beans, I get sick. So simple present versus simple present. Cause and effect with pro quo. Simple present, zero conditional. So if this condition meets, um, no, then the second thing happens. Okay. So what are the negatives? Yep, we're about to see the structure. This is not the structure, this is just the use. How do you use or when do you use the simple present? Okay. Okay. Uses, uses, uses. So these are the uses. Okay, when to use the simple present. Now, now that we know what we're talking about, let's go with affirmations as usual. I'm just gonna go straight to it to avoid losing too much time. Affirmations. The structure in general is very simple. First, you need a subject, then... Exactly, yes. Simple as that, subject, verb, complement to make an affirmative sentence. So shoot me an example. Wendy, give me an example. Subject, verb, complement. Uh, I sell 
I sold two tickets today. Okay. Um, oh no. Other present or routines. Yeah, this is not simple present. That was past. I sold two tickets today. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Give me another okay. sentence. Uh, mm -hmm. I wake up seven. I I wake up at seven a.m. That's it. I wake up at seven a.m. every day. Every day. Okay, simple. This is a simple present affirmative sentence. Silvia Sulema, give me another example. Change the subject, change the verb. I work, I work every day. I work every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, let's say I work hard every day. Nelson, give me another example. He plays soccer three times a week. Um, the verb, uh, you are eraser. I forgot the verb, okay. A day, okay. He plays soccer three times a day, three times a week. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now this um, is the complex part of the simple present. Bien. Voy a pasar el español super rápido porque sí he notado que algunos se han en dificultad con ese tiempo gramatical y debería de ser algo sencillo a este punto. Entonces, cómo ocupo el presente simple con las terceras personas? ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas? Rápido. He, she, he, she, and it. it. Oh, she. He, she, and it. Para estos tres, uh, debo de seguir las reglas de modificación de verbos que ya se le puede enviar. Y son tres reglas prácticamente. Entonces, ¿por qué importa eso? Número uno, el verbo está en su forma positiva. Es decir, eso solo va a afectar los las oraciones, perdón, en afirmación, oraciones afirmativas. Número dos, tercera persona. Debe de haber una tercera persona. Y número tres, debo de modificar el verbo. Es decir, estoy, eh, reviso la oración que acabo de hacer. ¿Es afirmativa? Ah, ok. ¿Es tercera persona? O sea, ¿es he, she, it? Sí. Ah, pues sí. Ok, entonces modifico el verbo. ¿Cómo lo voy a modificar? Bien, para... Y ahí dice la regla, ¿no? Que para verbos que terminan en S, X... No, ya me equivoqué. Para verbos que terminan en O... Déjenme ver, tú... Ajá, O, S... X, Z, ¿quién se acuerda? Doble S, de hecho, también. Uh -huh. Ok, para estos verbos yo voy a agregar S al final del verbo. Entonces, otra vez, vamos a ver. Ah, ok, sí, ya decía yo que me hacía falta algo. Ok, verbos que terminan en SH, CH, O, S, X, Z. That's it. Lo que vamos a hacer es agregar ES al final del verbo cuando se trate de nuevo de una afirmación de una tercera persona. Ahí entonces entro y modifico el verbo. 
es una afirmación, tercera persona, lo que acaba de decir eh, Nelson, he plays soccer three times a week, ahora esa regla no es la primera, esa regla es la tercera, perdón, la cuarta regla en teoría, ok, entonces les voy a ver un cuadro con esto de la modificación de los verbos, pero en, de manera general, la mayoría de verbos toman la forma agregándoles S al final. Por ejemplo, work sería works. Wake up sería wakes up. Y cuidado con esto, ya en un nivel avanzado debería de dedicarme solo a explicar eso si es necesario. Eh, los verbos frasales, phrasal verbs, con ellos eh, se modifica el verbo, no la preposición. ¿eh? Cuidado con eso. Es decir, un verbo frasal está compuesto por un verbo y una preposición. Siempre los verbos frasales están compuestos por un verbo y una preposición. Entonces yo le voy a modificar el verbo a la oración. Siempre si lo voy a conjugar en cualquier tiempo gramatical, modifico el verbo, no la preposición. Cuidado con eso. Nada más. Luego, la segunda regla, y quizás solo la voy a... No hay espacio acá, a ver. Con la segunda regla eh, de modificación de verbos, lo que voy a hacer es quitar la Y. Es decir, si el verbo termina en consonante más Y, entonces voy a quitar la Y, y agrego IES al final del verbo. Esas es como, son como las dos reglas que más se deben de aprender. ¿Por qué? Porque todas las demás solo les agrego S o ES. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo. Ah, y una cosa más. Hay un verbo irregular. Yo, los profesores siempre dicen que hay dos verbos irregulares. Con el DO, el GO. Ok, y el verbo to be que se conjuga, pero eso ya está de más, ¿no? Has, el caso de has para tercera persona, seguimos dentro de las terceras personas, have se convierte en has. Entonces, mientras que ustedes se acuerden de estas tres cosas, todo lo demás será fácil, ¿no? Entonces, vamos a intentar acentuar esto dando ejemplos rapidín. Ahorita les envío un screenshot. Ok, este es el screenshot. Entonces, ¿cómo así, teacher? Bien, entonces tengo he, she, it, afirmaciones en tercera persona, debo de modificar el verbo. Ok, ahora. Dice la primera regla que hay que agregar si el verbo termina en CH, SH, XZ. Ok, tengo que agregar S. Entonces vamos en orden. Un verbo que termine en CH. Watch. CH, ok, watch. ¿Cómo sería en tercera persona? Watches. Tan fácil como eso, ¿ok? Un verbo que termine en SH. Wash. Wash. Lo mismo, ¿no? O Se agregó S y ya sería washes. She washes. He washes. ¿Ok? It washes. Verbo que termine en doble S. Cross. What? Cross. Cross. Club. Cross the street. Oh, to cross the street, okay. Cross, crosses. Okay. She crosses the street, okay. Otro que termina en X. X. <laughs> Very good. Six. Six, entonces agrego S y dice fixes. Okay. Um, and that's it. Un verbo que termina en Z. Mm. 
Solo hay un verbo prácticamente. Uh -huh. Give us a clue. <laughs> Buzz. There you go. Buzz. The bee buzzes. The bee buzzes. There's another one, but I can't remember it. Okay. The bee buzzes. <clears throat> and so on. So, as simple as that. Now, talking about verbs that end on Y... Consonant plus Y. Dame tres ejemplos de verbos que terminen en consonante Y. Study. Study. Quito la Y y yo diría studies. Repeat, studies. No. Studies. She, she studies math. She studies math. She studies English. Okay, another one. Place. Uy. <laughs> No. Ajá. Es de, de, los, de las reglas. Correcto, aquí se salió de la regla. Dice consonante Y. Entonces. Oh. Ese, es, ese es normal, place. No, ese es. Ajá, se modifica de manera Así normal. Es como se solo, modifica. Ajá. Solo agrego S, porque es vocal okay. Y. Necesito Uy. consonantes Y ahorita, a ver. Ay, ok. Daddy. Manuel, Cristian. Carrie. Yeah, what? Carrie. 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 Yeah. Carries. One more. Swim. Swim. Like that. You. Consonante Y. Mary. Mary. Okay. My cousin marries next year. My cousin marries on Sunday. My cousin marries on Sunday. And that's future using simple present. Okay. Hmm. So, de nuevo, quito la Y porque hay una consonante antes. Chicos. Vamos, cry, try, 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 fly. <laughs> why, are, why are you nervous? Fly. So many. Okay. So, estamos consonante Y, quito el Y, agrego Y, S. Okay. ¿Qué pasa si hay una vocal antes? Solo agrego la S. That's it. Okay. And that's basically it. Y ahí todos los demás verbos se modifican agregando S. Y ya. That's it. Questions? No? Okay. So let's go back to subject, verb, complement. Okay. She washes her teeth before going to bed. Before bedtime. She washes her teeth before bedtime. Okay. Jorge. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Jorge does okay. his homework every night. Like like a third person teacher. Yeah. So, or he does his some work every night. Okay. Another one is Luis plays soccer. Simple. Luis plays soccer. Now, please don't forget the S, the E, E, the I, E, S. Right? Don't forget to modify uh, the verbs on third person on affirmations. That's that's all I wanted to communicate. Let's go with negatives. What is the negative structure? Come on. 
Exactly. So subject Auxiliary. plus. What are the auxiliaries? What are the auxiliaries? How? <laughs> ah, do. Do or does? Don't. Hmm. Or does. Okay. I just want you to remember this. So, subject plus do or does plus not not plus the verb and the complement, right? So, why do I do this this way? Because you have to understand. Tienen que entender que el auxiliar siempre en todo tiempo gramatical, el auxiliar de ese tiempo gramatical es el que va a llevar esta partícula para negar. Not. Repito, todo tiempo gramatical, el auxiliar será el que lleve la partícula negativa. Okay? Not. So... Y para no olvidarme de eso y no cometer errores, tengo que hacer que mi cerebro entienda que do I you with a, do I you with a, do I you with a, does he shit, does he shit, does he shit, do I you with a, does he shit, do I you with a, does he shit. That's it. Como un trabalengua, ¿no? Y te lo vamos memorizando. So, um, sí, hay forma de contractuar esto. Digo, don't or doesn't. That's it. Cuidado con la estructura, la escritura. Teacher, ¿y es bueno contractuar? Sí, pero no de forma escrita. De forma escrita, en especial si estás escribiendo un correo, pues no contractúes al hablar. Sí, es normal. So, let's go with examples. Negative. Diana, you're so quiet tonight. Oh, you're eating. Okay, enjoy. Hmm. Marilena, you make me hungry. You make me hungry, Marilena. I do not run today. I do not run today. Huh. Yo no corro hoy. Mm. I didn't. <gasps> That's past. Y por eso les hice el ejercicio al principio de esto de la gramática, porque los adultos solemos hablar en cualquier tiempo gramatical y se nos olvida que ya yeah. que ajá, no nos ubicamos en el tiempo gramatical en nuestro idioma y como ahorita aún estamos pensando en el español antes de hablar el inglés sí tiene sentido ajá teacher I do not like to work out again I I don't I don't like to work out <laughs> I don't like to work out. Yeah, this is simple present. Negative, I don't like to work out. Okay, next, another example. She doesn't swim. She doesn't swim. She doesn't swim. Easy. One more. My friend doesn't like to do his homework. You got it. Okay. One more thing. Two more things. The red. Old. It doesn't rain. It doesn't wait. Like that. Yes. Okay. They, they don't eat nothing. They do nothing? They do not eat nothing. Ok, ahora aclaremos un par de situaciones. 
Aquí estoy don, doble negando, Manuel. ¿Cómo evito doble negar? Neither. Or nor. No. They don't eat nothing. Uh, espero que todos pon estén poniendo atención. Vamos a ver. Aquí tengo dos opciones. Tres opciones. They eat nothing. They bien, bien. Opción uno. Voy a quitar esto. Ok, opción uno. They eat nothing. They eat nothing. Ojo, énfasis. They eat nothing. Ok. They don't eat. Aquí ya puedo decir a thing. They don't need 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 a thing. Ok, y la última. They don't eat anything. Anything. They don't need anything. They don't need anything. Ah, don't pay attention. They don't need anything. Así está mi hija ahorita. She doesn't eat anything. Ok, they don't eat anything. They don't eat a thing. They eat nothing. They don't eat anything si se puede. Las tres opciones que les acabo de poner se pueden. Y estoy diciendo exactamente lo mismo. La primera es como más énfasis, o sea, es como ya probé de todo y no comen nada. Mm -hmm. They eat nothing. En esta es tanta la. Eh, tan tanto lo, la, el énfasis que podría agregar el at all al final. At all. They eat nothing at all. Man, they eat nothing at all. At all. En absoluto. At all. Ok. Where is my subject in this sentence? The red uh, one, Once again. The old Chevy Mustang? From 1989. Okay. Yes, that's my subject. Yeah. The red old Chevy Mustang from 1988. How do you replace all these words? ¿Cómo reemplazas esas palabras? Todas esas palabras. My red car. No, hay, hay algo que fue lo primero que aprendiste desde que empezaste a aprender en básico uno. That's one. No. It, it, you got it. It doesn't seem as an thing. Entonces, este proceso debiste aprenderlo en básico uno. La suplantación de un nombre común, un nombre común, por un pronombre. Y ahí se relajo. Ok. Por un pronombre. Entonces, the red old Chevy Mustang from 1998. It. Podría decir, it doesn't seem as an antique. Man, that doesn't seem as an, an antique. Lo estoy señalando. That doesn't seem like an antique. The red old Chevy Mustang from 1998 doesn't seem as an antique. Ok. 1998 creo que está muy pronto, muy reciente, ¿verdad? De regla en el año. Ok. So, espero que hayan captado cada idea. Hay una cosa que nos falta acá. ¿Qué será? Where are we, where are we missing here? question oh oh yeah 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 but before we go to the question we're missing one thing frequency exactly frequency adverbs so really quick you should know this very well what are the frequency adverbs usually Yeah, let's just mention the usually, often, uh huh. Always, never. Uh huh. Sometimes. Sometimes you can make it. Uh huh. On your own. Ever. Once. Ah, pero para el presente simple. Huh. Sí, se puede ocupar eso. Ojo, eh. Never. Ever. 
se puede ocupar en oraciones positivas, pero convierte en negativa la oración. I never go to the beach. Ok. No puedo decir I don't never. Tendría que decir I don't ever. Que se ocupa en negativas en preguntas. I don't ever talk to her. You know, I don't ever talk to her. I don't ever get, get along with her uh, for some reason. Do you ever party? Oye, do you ever party? Yeah, no, do you ever party? No, ah, come yes. on. Not anymore. <laughs> oh my God, really? Uh, okay. Toxicity apart. Let's continue. <laughs> Not anymore. Why? Because I am always tired. <laughs> oh, yeah. I prefer to rest on the weekends. Okay, and that was present simple, guys. I always, I'm always, I am always tired. That's the way you use the uh, the frequency adverbs with the verb to be. Thank you. Okay, and there are many others, right? There are many other frequency adverbs. Let's go with the question form really quick, which is what? Affirmations, negative, and interrogative form, okay? Okay, Marilena, shoot me. What is the structure for the interrogative form on the simple present? Um, subject. Hmm. Um, do or does. Hmm. Mm -hmm. um, maybe. Um, no, maybe birds, bear, subject, bear, to does. Hmm. Compliment. Okay. And question mark. Okay, Norma, is this right? Yes, okay. Do you find this correct for a question? It's missing W. No, no. 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 the first is I'm sorry, Norma. Go ahead. Do or does is first, teacher. It's first. Okay, do or does goes first. Yeah. Then we have the subject. Yeah, I think this is it. Very good. Bien, creo que hay una confusión muy leve en este sentido. Lo que estamos viendo ahorita son close questions. Ok, close questions. Sí, está lo otro que se llama WH questions o open questions. Y sí, empiezan con WH. So, let's go really quick through this. So, give me an example. Do, does, close questions. Does she run in the afternoon? Si quieres tomar nota, cada vez que este tipo está presente, yo no necesito modificar el verbo y eso se cumple para muchos tiempos gramaticales. Si el auxiliar está presente, no modifico el verbo. Lo mismo ocurre con el presente, el pasado simple. So, does she run? Ya no digo, does she runs. Ok. Next example. Silvia. Do you like pupusas? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Do you like pupusas? Yeah. Come on, teacher. Where's the question mark? Uh huh. Do you like pupusas? One more. Do you do your homework? Do you do your homework? Exactly. Ahora pasemos esas preguntas a WH, Jorge. Oh. Una última observación. Para contestar estas preguntas, yo solo puedo decir en teoría, yes, subject plus 
do or does. Oh, no. Subject plus don't or doesn't. Ojo que al contestar yes or no, es importante si voy a negar, contractuar, porque soy feo, si digo no, I do not. No, um, no, she does not. Y solo lo voy a hacer si quiero ser rudo, si quiero expresar, eh, enfatizar el, la negativa. ¿Si ¿Sí tiene sentido esto? No me crean a mí, escuchen a un americano hablar. Yes, I do. Yes, she does. Yes, I... No, I don't. No, you don't. No, yo, you do not. No, you do not. No, she doesn't. No, she does not. Entonces, se como más fuerte, no más pesado. Okay. Give me examples of WH questions, Jorge. Yeah. Uh, number one. Why is she run in the afternoon? Why does she run Why in the afternoon? Or, no. Okay. Why does she run in the afternoon? Porque corre en la tarde. Y aquí ya puedo extenderme. No, because she like, ojo, contesto con lo que se me está preguntando. Why? Because. Uh-huh. Another one, Manuel. What do you do on the weekends? What do you do on weekends? What do you do on weekends? Mm -hmm. Teacher, y se puede decir en español eh, es María una profesor ahí sería el verbo to be is sí. Mary a teacher ya hay que distinguir no una acción eh, o el ser y, uh -huh. y el estar is Mary a teacher yeah sí. does she or does Mary work as a teacher Does okay. Mary work as a teacher? Okay. One more. Why? How? Who? When? when where? Do when do you? <laughs> Dale con las pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> when do you eat pupas? Okay. Uh huh. What is your favorite color? What is your favorite pupusas flavor? What's your favorite color? <laughs> My favorite color is black. That's it. Ahora, what is? Verbo to be again. What is your favorite color? Okay. This is very extense. This topic is really extense. If you want it fully explained, you know, it's very extense. Only talking about the WH who, you can continue speaking. Listen, who do you like? Who do you talk to? Who do you go out with? Ahí ocupe. En la primera, no ocupe una preposición al final. En la segunda, sí. En la tercera, también. Uh -huh. Tarea. Preposiciones al final de WH questions. Preposiciones al final de WH questions. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Teacher, a question. Uh huh. Uh, this this topic you sent in in the chat of the WhatsApp or not? Yeah, I have been sending the captures, the images. Uh, Why? But but uh, I'm talking about the. Uh, more information about the <laughs> oh do you are you asking me to send more to study later okay yeah. sure i'll do that i'll do that after the class while i upload the video i will send you more 
details. Ahora, ¿cómo corrijo esto? Pues agarro un verbo, agarro cinco verbos con sus cinco palabras respectivas y me pongo a hacer positivo en negativo. Pregunte, voy cambiando los sujetos, voy cambiando los verbos, ¿sí? Todos los días y al final de la semana, cinco por dos, diez verbos nuevos que me aprendí en memoria y ni cuenta me di. So. Uh, another question. Yep. There are an special um, kind of matrix where you has all the the tense is you're asking me if there is there is like there again again is there an yeah. index, index yeah is there an index with the grammar tenses yeah Yes, I, I imagine something like in the part of, in the top of the table, the tens of the da 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 da, and in the uh -huh. vertical, the I, you, he, she. Actually, let's see if we're lucky tonight. Oh, come on. There you go. Let's see. No, didn't bring it up. Don't worry, it could be. No, tomorrow. it's it's just that I have something on the tip, and I found it. I found it. Okay, so this is all the grammar tenses, Jorge. Esta página es muy útil. Eh, si bajan hacia abajo. If you move down, you will see the chart. Ahí está el eterno pleito de los teachers. Según esta página, pues hay 12 tiempos gramaticales. ¿Ya la encontraste? This table of contents. Si te mueves hacia abajo, ¿no? If you scroll down, scroll down. Vas a encontrar un cuadro que dice table of contents. Y dice, what does tense mean? Entonces... Aquí, en esta página, van a encontrar muchos PDFs. Son de tres a cuatro PDFs por cada tiempo gramatical. What's the name? It's name? The name, I cannot say it. No lo puedo decir, pero... Ok, ahí está, ahí está el link en el WhatsApp. Entonces, por tiempo gramatical, Jorge, vas a encontrar de tres a cuatro historias aplicando el tiempo gramatical. Y lo chivo es que aquí aplican la tarea que yo les he dejado. Al final de cada historia vas a tener tres o cuatro preguntas relacionadas al tema. Vas a tener también, um, te van a dar una oración, ya sea afirmación af negativa o, o pregunta, y tú tienes que crear la negativa a la pregunta. ¿Sí me explico? Para practicar el tiempo gramatical. So there you have simple present, simple past, simple future. Present progressive, past progressive, future progressive. Present, past and future perfect. Present, past, and future perfect progressive. So these are like the 12 basic grammar tenses. And in the future, there are two, remember? Will and going to, right? So it's like 13 in reality. Is that what you needed? Um, I, I imagine something bigger. Uh, oh, just go through it. Go through it. Go through it. I mean, this page has a lot of content, but stories, stories are very useful. Okay. You can use one story and, man, be learning a lot. So, let's see. So, Let's start the lesson really quick. I'm going to split you just for 10 minutes only. Like I send in the chat of the, the group. The uh -huh. Exactly. That's the, that's, that is right. That's the table of contents. So if you click on any of those, you will be able to see the stories on simple present, simple past, simple future. So you can practice. Y son PDFs que puedes descargar, imprimir y practicar con ellos, ¿ok? Ok, sounds interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Ok, so let's... Oh my God.
Okay, let's practice just for 10, 15 minutes the most simple present. So remember the dynamic, okay? Uh, let me see, Juan Carlos Rivas. JC. <laughs> okay, Juan Carlos, how do you say tragar in English? <laughs> I don't know, teacher. Eat. You don't know? Okay. Somebody from the group, how Swallow. do you say tragar in English? Swallow. 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 Hello. Good song from the 90s, right? Swallow. Okay. Swallow. How do you say comida, comida in English, Juan Carlos? Food. Food. Okay. Give me simple present, third person. He foods. Hmm. Look at the look at the okay. structures. Look at the structures on the WhatsApp. He? Third uh -huh. person? Yeah, he. Foods? Where's the verb? <laughs> he? It. It's. Mm -mm. Throw. You swallow. He swallows. Uh huh. Swallows. Eat every morning. Okay, let's follow together. So he swallows. This is not a common verb. That's why I wanted to point it. Yeah, he swallows his food. He swallows his food. He swallows his food. ¿De quién es la comida? No se puede traer la comida de alguien más. So, her food, your food. No. He swallows his food. Okay. What's the negative? Juan Carlos. He doesn't swallow mm -hmm. his food. Excellent. And the question. Yeah. Doesn't he mm -hmm. swallow his food? Mm -hmm. Y esa pregunta me la hacía Nelson a ese poco. Teacher, ¿puedo hacer preguntas negativas? Claro que sí. No se traga la comida. Doesn't he swallow his food? El bebé? Doesn't he swallow his food? No, he spit it. All the time. The baby, okay. Doesn't he swallow his food? Does he swallow his food? Okay. Open question. Who can do the open question? Open question. I don't know, teacher. Everybody. Why, no, why he doesn't why does swallow he? his food? <laughs> okay. Why doesn't... He swallow his food. Bien. Ahí tendría mucho sentido de la negativa porque no se traga la comida. Oh, because his throat is, he has a, a sore throat. He has a sore throat. Okay. So, think about it. Let's practice really quick. Nótese la diferencia. Swallow no, es, no termina en ES. Ojo, eh. Solo agrego S como decía la regla. Ya. Yeah. No es la primera regla, es la última regla. Solo agrego ese. Swallows. Ok. Let's get together. And practice. We are 13. Bien. Les reto a que reten a sus compañeros. No los dejen quedarse callados. Para asegurarnos que eso se absorba. Ok. Let's go.
What do we have to do? <laughs> That's a question, teacher. <laughs> Any simple present, yes. <laughs> Wendy was with us, but she left. We have to do a uh, simple person examples. Aún no ha agarrado la dinámica. A ver, te voy a preguntar dos veces a un compañero al que yo quiera, ¿no? Y le digo. Hey, ¿cómo se dice rodar en English? Okay, how do you say rodar in English? How do you say cuesta abajo in English? Ah, okay. Like okay, it. y luego le digo, give me simple present, third yeah. person. Simple present, third person. Y me tiene que dar el positivo o negativo pregunta por lo menos. That's it. Y en ese, ese compañero que contestó le va a preguntar a alguien más. That's it. Okay. Listo, Mario. How do you say cook in present? How do you say cocinar in English? Eso, how do you say cocinar? <laughs> no, ya te lo di, ya pues vamos a cambiar. How do you say jugar in English? And... How do you say jugar in English? Play. Okay, and how do you say basketball? In English. Basketball. How do you say baloncesto? Ah, okay. Baloncesto, yes. And can you give me a sentence and a question and a negative? Okay. He played. Don't cut it, the rope. And give me a um, question, sentence. Why? Don't you cut the rope? Cut the rope. And the question. It's open question. Ah. Why? Okay. Thank you. Now you. How do you say how, how do you say brincar? Brincar. Mm -hmm. Jump, no. <laughs> Jump is saltar. Maybe jump. The same. Jump, skip. Jump, jump. skip. Yeah, how do you say it? How do you say it? What do you say? Como? Pared. Pared. Oh, yes. Wall. Okay. Make a sentence. Okay. It's difficult. Con como, como, con pared y con saltar. Man. Easy, easy. Y si, y si saltes el muro. Um, 
she jumped the wall. Eh. Jumps. 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 Remind the school when you jumped. <laughs> <laughs> Sí, negativo, ¿eh? ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Saltar? Jump. Ok. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cuerda? Cord? Cuerda como de salta cuerda. Ah, ok. Cord. Ah, ok. Cord. Now the verb is jump and the word is cord or lace. Yes. Maybe cord. Ok. Uh, affirmative. Affirmative question. Affirmative sentence. I jump. I jumps. Uh -huh. uh, from my bed. No, I jumps in the in the soccer field every day. Okay. That's correct, teacher. Yes. I, I play on the soccer field every day. But the verb is jump. I jump on the soccer field every day. Yeah. Yes. I heard you said play. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no problem. Uh, the negative. I don't jump in the soccer play every day. The soccer field. Soccer field. <laughs> Every day, and the question Do I jump in the soccer field every day? There you go. Yeah, okay. Now, when the how do you say Gevar? Yes, eh, okay, eh, Mario. Um, how do you say eh, beber in English? O tomar, pero de, de, de líquidos. Mario. Ah, oh, pues, Diana. Uh, drink. Drink. And what's your favorite drink? No, I don't know. Fanta. What? What? <laughs> what? Can you repeat? Yes, yeah, sorry, I was brushing my teeth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, my favorite drink is... Uh, soda. Okay, okay. okay, give me a sentence in simple present. Okay. Uh, I like, no, I, I, I drink a glass of soda every lunch. Okay. Like negative. <laughs> um, I don't, I, I do not drink a glass of soda every day. Okay. Next, um, and the question Do you drink a glass of soda? No. <laughs> okay, now, Cristia, how do you say uh, escribir at English, in English? Right. Okay, and how do you say cartas in English? Letter. 
Okay, now can you give me a sentence? Mm, uh, I write I write a letter to my best friend every year. Okay. Um yeah. I don't write I, I don't like to write a letters. A letter. Or letters. But but there you change the verb. Is it right, teacher? Because the verb was right, but she used like. I heard she said right, but she said a letters or a letter. I, a I, letter. I write a letter to my best friend. I write letters to my best friend. I write a letter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the, and the question is, why I don't write? Do I write? <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, do I? Do I do I write a letter? And that's yeah. that's it. Okay. You see. No, it's Carlos. Uh, now for Carlos, yes. <sighs> Okay. Hmm. You are sleepy, teacher. No, merda en los ojos. <laughs> My eyes are burning a little bit, but I'm okay. I'm okay. I have been working all day, so I'm doing overtime, you know, on the call center. And I'm also teaching. The vacation is someone. over. Yeah, my vacation finished on what? Saturday? Saturday, oh. basically. <laughs> and yesterday was my, my day off. <laughs> so <laughs> it they legally finished on Saturday. No, but I'm I'm teaching someone who needs to go to London and she she needs to go to London. I mean, she's taking the visa because now London is requesting visa to travel, but she wants to speak. So, you know, I'm finding the same problem that I'm finding right now on this on this group. Basic, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, uh, simple present is from basic to Basic two. Now, why does this happen? ¿Por qué pasa esto, señores? Lo que no estoy practicando, se arruina. Mm. Así de simple. Todo excepto andar en bicicleta. <laughs> o manejar, tal vez también. So, everything that is done by your brain and body. Ahora imagínate esto. Tu cerebro le ordena a tu cuerpo cómo manejar bicicleta o carro. Ahí no entra tu razón. But what do you say about about the the companies that offered you to can speak in three months? Oh, what do you what do I think? What do I think about companies? Academy is asking, is saying that you can speak in three months. Yes, it's possible. False. It is possible, but but, <laughs> but you don't have to have a life. You don't have to have a life. If you work, if you have family, if you have responsibilities, 
uh, it will take six months, 10 months at the most. And, and, and yes, I mean, it works. In three months, you can start talking the way you do, the way you do. And then six more months on a call center and you are working like a pro. I mean, talking, talking like a pro. That's what it takes. That's all it takes for you to remember the grammar and use it, use it, use it. That's all. So I hope you understood the simple present that you have. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions? We are 13 and there are no questions. Okay. Hmm. Okay, another exercise that you can do is very simple. Jorge, what is the third person for the verb fly? Flies. Thank you. Wendy, what's the third person for run? Run, third person. Mm, third person. Third person, run. No, nope. nope. Manuel, what is the third person for sleep? You are the S. Okay, say it. Sleeps. Sleeps. Okay, thank you. Silvia, what is the third person for drink? Drinks. Easy. Marilena, wash. Watches. What? <laughs> Watches. Uh -uh. Wash. Watch. Washes. Washes. Wash de la bar. Yeah, be careful. Uh huh. Diana, the third person for Parangari Kutirimikora. Wait a minute. I, I don't have a verb in my mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> slide. Third person for slide. Slide. Hey, easy. Very good. Thank you. Norma, what is the third person for strive? Strive. Strives, very good. You got it. Mm -hmm. Juan Carlos, what is the third person for achieve? Achieve. Easy. You got it. As simple as that. So if you practice every day, you will get it. Next, tonight we have to talk about vocabulary related to training. So the way we're going to do it is very simple. I will split you in groups. I will send you a link so you can look for these terms. So in other words, there is a link on your WhatsApp. It's in alphabetical order. The only thing you have to do is look for these terms with your group. Look for these terms, read a little bit, you know, discuss. What do you understand by boot camps? Hey, what is gamification? What is outsourcing? What is collaborative learning? What is competency? Critical thinking, coaching, big data. And these are recent terms. It's not old data. This is recent terms related to training. And Dan is like, oh my God, I'm in the job right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just talked about this at work, teacher. Oh my God, I know. I know, but we have to go through these topics, take advantage, understand the topics. That's it. Just read about them and understand. I will make you questions. Okay, when we return, I'm going to change the groups right now. Questions? What is the link, teacher? On WhatsApp. Okay. Just a minute and I'll send it to you here as well. That is the link. Glossary Archive. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Those are the archive. And these are the terms that you need to follow. Understand, just read them, okay? I'm recreating the groups. Everybody joins each group. Let's go. Mario Diego, if you may, please join your groups. Group, the boot camps. Boot camps. Boot camps. Let me check. Glossary. Boot camps. Boot camps. Can I? Oh, verbs. Oh, verbs. Good camps. Coding. What's the meaning? In two, in it says three. that good camps are learning programs where content is aggregated. Best practice for virtual pop good camps. Good camps, what? I was doing to sell in an industry market by constant change. Uh, where is the the definition? You have to it's, click click the link. Yes, I, I, link. I type. I type in the link and, ah, in the link. and the, there is no I get list. 98 results. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Jorge, just go to the link that I sent. Uh -huh. And that's a glossary. So you can select, scroll down, and you will see A, B, C, D. <laughs> mm, okay. So bootcamp, bootcamp is on the B. Okay. And then it's a game. Oh, okay. but camp, yeah, there it is. And then you are learning programs where content is aggregated uh -huh. into short, mm -hmm. intensive, and rigorous curriculums, also referred to as accelerated curriculums. I like to, I like read. I choose uh, coaching. Yes, but choose coaching. Coaching, okay. yes. Okay, let's see. Okay. And read, okay. read it. Oh, okay. And then we we can share that you, you understand. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. But I think it's better if we read aloud. Okay. Ah, what? Yes, I think the same. Okay. Uh, Man Manuel choose coach. Coaching. Yes. Coaching? Okay. Yes. Okay. May I read? Okay. A uh, coaching. Coaching is a development or training technique. Technique typically used for executive executives or new managers, leaders. It often involves a professional coach or external consultant who works with employees to develop their skills and achieve business goals. Coaches support employees by understanding their personal and career goals and providing feedback and direction to facilitate performance improvement. This is coaching. Okay. Do you okay. understand? <laughs> what do you understand about? Yes, yes. Uh, in general, it's a, it's a technique 
that uh, many companies uh, use uh, to to form um, a professionals in, in in these careers to achieve their 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 business goals uh, and then they they, they bring uh, support uh, to the employees and and ask for uh, if the personal understand their 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 goals to for future and what uh, he or what they can can do uh, about uh, achieve any any goal in personal and then apply to to the company this is this is the 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 goal of company when uh, hire a new professional for a specific uh, a specific area and to facilitate uh, teacher we have a question <laughs> <laughs> We need to read about all the topics or we only have to choose one topic? You have to read them all. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, it's just, and, and I chosen a few. I didn't choose like, you know, many, not too many. I, I, I think I chosen like very important topics and it's not that many. How many are they? 15. Oh, what? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I just try to understand as much as you can. I'll make questions in general to see who understood what in about 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Good, thank you. Okay. Okay, so the other, it is. <laughs> gamification Mm-hmm. 
The process of recognizing all the differences. And that keep the context. Sorry, teacher, one question, but about another topic. <laughs> the lady is my one to one. Let me see. Yes. Okay. Well, it was supposed to be some days okay. ago, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you yes. for the reminder. Okay, thank you. Both businesses uh, and job seekers. The goal is to provide convenient access to prepare training for a variety variety of functions. Okay, we finished the the <laughs> but we finished to to read the to read. but now teacher we have to know about that. Yeah, just what was your favorite? I mean, what did you like? Uh, We're missing four minutes. We're just missing four minutes. Indeed, employee engagement. Why? Uh, actually, I like what what it said. Uh, but I guess it's uh something that makes strong uh, to any company. Makes uh, because... any company stronger, uh-huh. Okay. Makes any company stronger uh, because you are sure that the, uh, there is a comp 
confidence, confidence now. There's yeah, confidence. Maybe. There is confidence. There's trust. Yeah, confidence, trust, trust in, and also, uh, you don't have to spend time thinking that how how to say what is a uh, maybe turn around or turn when when, when there is a. Uh, a lot of employees that going back quitting yeah but I, turn over there, there's not too much turn turnover there's yeah. not too much turnover ratio it's like yeah because you create a a fidelity a kind of fidelity with with, with the employees okay so that's Employee engagement. The comp the employee feels uh, identified with the company. Yeah, indeed, there is a uh, some uh, statement. I can I don't know how how to say, it, but some statement that I uh, I like it. Uh, uh, it is regarding the the company, and it, it says that the. The employees stay when when they are paid well, mentored, challenged, promote, involved, appreciate, valued on a mission, empowered and trusted. <laughs> oh my god. I like that. <laughs> yes, that's a nice saying. And actually I I put it in my uh work phone. As I stay with the WhatsApp. Wow. <laughs> okay. So you like it's your job? It's kind of message. So you like what you but, do? Yeah, I like actually. I, I like what what I do. Uh, but sometimes the the thing that I don't like is how the uh, how the the bosses uh, do the things, and I think that they are not. Uh, they don't have the uh, the ah, how to say this uh, compromiso. No tienen commitment. The commitment. Yeah, they don't have the. I guess they don't have the the commitment. To do the better job or, or do the the things better, uh, I guess sometimes or some of them, not not, not all, but some of them sometimes uh, they are kind of uh, passive. Uh, I don't know is is a real or person that are uh, leading. Uh, my group is my team. Your team? Yeah, is is decepcionante. How do you say decepcionante? Disappointing. Okay, disappointing. <laughs> we, we are passing in the in the in the company in the in in the team. Uh, some yeah, we're you're going through some trouble. We are going through, through some troubles, yeah, through uh -huh. some troubles, and we we feel that uh, we don't have uh, somebody that uh, respaldar. How do you say respaldar? That can support mm -hmm. us. Okay, we have some. We don't have somebody to support we don't us. Have, we feel that we don't have somebody that support us. Yeah. Okay. It's hard. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Be patient. Yeah, <laughs> I'm being for a few years actually. <laughs> but it is what it is, eh? Yeah, hey, good.
something that I like what what uh, you said a uh, few days ago that you you don't say it anymore that ah I have to work again oh I have to go to the work that will because if you wake up and the first thing that you say is a a bad word or a or a I don't know how to say but you make a uh, old day that made bad. Maybe you, I, I, I'm the kind of person that you have to feel and things uh, positive or make the, try to have the positive vibes. Vibes, uh -huh. you know, Positive vibes, yeah. And then all the, the good will, will be attracted to you. Yeah, it's just keep a positive mind and that's all. Okay, guys, let's go back. I'm going to make some questions to the whole group. Okay, so let's start. Let's start talking. I want to hear your opinion about these topics. So let me see. Who can tell me something about big data? Some people say big data. Other people say big data. The same thing. So what's your opinion about big data? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Come on, guys. Marilena is already dreaming. I, I read a bit uh, big data, but uh, I understand that is when you have to analyze, analyze a lot of information, like a statistic could be, and maybe using that big data you can solve big problems excellent uh, could be a good method to investigate some some issues you know when i was working as an accounting auxiliary i had a lot of data to analyze so i I couldn't do this anymore, but I built, basically built an Excel worksheet with links, uh, hyperlinks between the sheets and those hyperlinks and formulas used to lead to discharging the inventory and keeping control of the costs of the, of the products we had. So, Man, but it was huge. It was like ten like meg. It was like ten megabytes. <laughs> <laughs> Back in two thousand four, that was a lot. That was a lot in two thousand four. Two thousand four could be. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of megabytes. Okay, I like the word boot camps. Boot camps. Wendy Manuel, Diana, Maria, you know. Someone, someone, come on. Quick thoughts, quick thoughts. What are boot camps? Boot camps are like intensive programs um, where you learn <laughs> different topics and 
it can last like one to six months. Mm -hmm. Depending on the topic that you're covering, I guess. Yes. You know, when I was in another academy, um, students on advanced levels or intermediate levels used to struggle, struggle speaking. That was the best, that, that's the most difficult challenge, you guys. It's don't feel panic. Don't feel, I don't know, dis disappointed. Don't get disappointed. But speaking is difficult when you're learning another language. But you get it. How do you get it? Just doing it. Speaking. So we started this boot camp. I had a great idea of crossing teachers. So it was like, okay, today Fulano is with this group of students. Today we're going to have this other teacher with them. And we just swap. The kids were amused. They were, because we had basic, intermediate, and advanced levels joining on one classroom. It was like 60 people in one classroom, all talking to just anybody. Just like that. Intensive. That's right. What is the other name they get? What comes? Collaborate learning. Collaborative learning, I think, right? Collaborative learning. And also, uh, there was another name. Ac Assessment. Accelerated curriculum. Accelerated curri curriculum. Yeah, difficult. Accelerated curriculum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not easy. Okay, uh, so let's see. Next one that I would like to ask you about is the critical thinking. What's critical thinking? Let me check in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. Okay. Critical thinking. It's high. Ah, critical thinking is the ability to use logic and reasoning to identify the strengths and weakness of various solutions, conclusions, or approaches to, pro to problems. Now, before we give a resolution on this, what do you think about problem solving? So we said it's the ability to to rationate, think about the solution to possible problems. What about problem solving? Uh, I, I, I consider this is about the, or the main idea is the the common sense. That's there it. are many people that are so logical and that is good. Mm -hmm. That's right. And if they don't know the answer, they create it, they find the answer. By thinking, uh, using the common sense. Using common sense. Thank you. What is problem solving then? Problem solving, teacher. I, I was reading and I understand is the ability uh, that one one person uh, make. A, uh, can applicate in one situation in the company because uh, maybe the it happens in the company uh, some some issues and is is there when <clears throat> when the 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 attitude or knowledge skill um came up to solve and solve the situation uh, for example uh, how do you say um, me llama la atención it calls my attention it's 
Okay. Rings a bell on me. Um, there's another way of saying that. Uh huh. <laughs> and when 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 people. That's appealing. It's appealing for me. It's appealing for me. Mm -hmm. uh, people use uh, use uh, the experience and the the capability. Capability. To to solve a problem. For example, where in my first uh, in my first job, I had a, a, a trouble. <laughs> I had trouble because I was working in a gas station, right? And I I am and I was uh, 16, 17 years old and. I was uh, study, uh, study and working, yeah. And I put a different, different type of fuel, fuel, of fuel. Yes, and and the and the car was new. Oh my God, Manuel. The, 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 the client was angry, and I called the I I called the supervisor and and told him the problem. And, no, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I I I solved the situation, and they talked with the client and cared. And well, I have to pay. <laughs> you paid pay for the, it, yeah, because for cleaning uh, cleaning the engine. Uh, Yes, because uh, the car was uh, uh, stopped and work for two hours. Uh, uh, how do you say? Extracting the fuel. Extracting did you the did fuel. you put diesel on yes. uh, gasoline? Yes. I put uh, diesel. Uh, no special gasoline. Uh huh. And the car was a in a diesel, in a diesel a truck. Diesel, yes. Oh no, that's different. Uh, that's more complicated. Yeah. I, I, well. I remind you remind me with this situation. <laughs> yeah, but but my but the supervisor act act acted acted uh, in the fastly, moment fastly really yes, quick. Fastly, quick, really quick. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, guys, um, si quieren aprender mañana como bueno, quieren aprender mañana la, la técnica para resolución de conflictos, vénganse temprano, ¿ok? Vamos a, a hablar de cuatro pasos que se deben de seguir en la vida, en el trabajo, para no ser un estorbo en el trabajo, para llegar a ser un excelente supervisor, si un día Dios te regala eso, poder solucionar problemas en cuatro simples pasos, aún en sure. tu vida, ¿ok? Solo... Don't forget the class for... You were not early today. So... Rather... Rather, I, I will rather, rather. I will rather, yeah. <laughs> thank I know. You, thank you. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm staying with Dianita tonight. Carlos Alfredo Palomo Pineda. Present. Good night. Good night. Please turn on your camera, guys. Claudia Maria Melinda Santos. No. No. Cristian, um, Natalia, I'm sorry, Cristian, Natalia, no. Raza Rogel. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Diana Elizabeth Chereguiño Martínez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Diego Armando López Rivas. Diego left. I think he was working, I believe. Jorge Humberto Vela Funes. Present. Good night. Good night, man. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Manuel Antonio Palma. Teacher. Good night. Good night. Good María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Good night, Mario. Mario José Valle Castaneda. Present teacher. Good night. Good, good night. Nelson René Olmedo Figueroa. Norma Carolina Vieda Ábalos, Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Presente. Good night. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Presente. Good night. Good Blessing. night, Wendy. Blessings.
I'm sitting here in the boring room. Hello. Hello. It's just another. <laughs> what? No, la canción. <laughs> I know. So, what do you want to talk about? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> you tell me. How's your job? Yeah. Uh, hard. Um, the last week I missed a few classes because we had a lot of work to do because they are doing auditorias. Audits. 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 Mm -hmm. So we need to have all ready. <laughs> and everything, everything ready. Yes, everything ready. So I had to stay like 10 o'clock at the work. I had to stay up until. I had to stay. Yeah. Up until. Up until. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. What? And you started your shift every day uh, in the morning or what? Yes. Yes. I started oh. at 8 to 6. But then I need to, uh, to do like extra hours. But uh, because. We had a lot of. <laughs> oh. Will they pay you at that time as OT? Come on. No, Will, no, 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 no. They don't pay us because it's I hard. am an administrative. Administrative. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm part of the administrative personnel. Yes. So we don't, we don't get extra hours. Pay. My God, that's really tough. And that was the whole day, the whole week. Yes, the whole week because it was two dates for the audits. It was Tuesday and Thursday. And okay. we have we we are going to have another on March. Another one on so March. And this is from problem. from the ISR, let's say. From the IRS IRS. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, from Hacienda. Okay. Wow. What do you have to do? What do you have to do with accounting there? Or are uh, they sh are they short of personnel? I don't understand. Sorry. Are they short on personnel? They don't have too much people? No, no. We, <laughs> we're a lot of... But for the audits, they do it uh, to see if they keep hiring the company mm. yes mm. so we have to have all the paperwork done and ready mm -hmm. and it was a time when we make all online but now they want it on physical so also we have to imprimir how do you say print, print? to print all or the scan. documents not to print. Oh my God, that's boring, and that's a lot yes. of resources. <laughs> so many resources wasted. Uh, are do you have agents working uh, at the tower? Uh, mm, no. No, everybody's working from home. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's a couple of accounts that get back. No, so get back to. Got back or are got getting back? back? <laughs> to get back mm -hmm. to the sites. Um, but there's a few that's still working from home. Do you guys still have two facilities? No, uh, there are five. There's Torre Cucatlan, mm -hmm. uh, Getcom, that it's in from, from in front of Yuka. Uh -huh. Yes, and Yuka. Olympica. <laughs> I need to say Yuka. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. uh, Olympica and Olympica. Olympica. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Olympica. Yes, it, it is in the old building from Tepe. <gasps> oh my God, really? Yes. But that's no, just like a floor or something. No, all the. The whole building. The, the whole building, yes. Wow. And now they open Santa Elena. That's more fancy. And in Santana also. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yes. 
and I have to go to all the sites. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> let me know. Let me know whenever you go to Santa Ana. Okay. I'll, I'll make you an encargo. <laughs> <laughs> I need some errands from you. Errands, mm -hmm. errands. So sometimes you spend the whole day driving or what? No. When we have to go to Santa Ana, they gave us uh, transportation. Ah, okay. A driver? A limousine? Yes. No, no. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I just picture it. It's just that a place where I used to work when I was a manager uh, of the of an academy, we used to plan things like that, you know. So we came up with a group of ladies who used to go to the different branches mm -hmm. evaluating the students. <laughs> and we used to send them by bus. <laughs> and then one day some of them were complaining oh my god you cannot send us my bus that's insane <laughs> so we 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 bought a how do you say micro was i don't know but we bought a we bought a band we bought mm -hmm. us a cheap band you know it was so funny i mean <laughs> they just then they were complaining about the van and they wanted <laughs> something more fancy for us yes. <laughs> oh my god i was like women right <laughs> it's so funny but well so i hope you continue doing great on your job and that's why you were like broken hard last week i wasn't broken hard <laughs> you heard i heard you were like that because you just said i don't feel fine teacher and i was like ah uh, no teacher it, i think that because of the i was tired you were so exhausted I Yes, my defense were low, and from Monday to Wednesday, mm -hmm. I think that I was going to have the flu, but no, <laughs> it was only time. It was like, oh, didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, thank you for staying with me. Do you have any questions? Do you need anything from me? You can text um, me in time. Yes, I had two questions, teacher. I don't have money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Uh the first um the platform the unit three needs to be complete for this week or for last Friday. <laughs> was for today actually and I forgot to tell everybody. I, I assume that everybody was and actually most of you of the class is, is up to date, you know, with the midterm. Uh, so I I only do to the mid Term. I have only done. I have only done the midterm. I don't have the unit three. Unit three. Yeah, I can see that right here. Okay, I'll check right now. Thank you for reminding me these no. things. You know, I really appreciate it. And the second question. Uh, when we're going to finish this? When level. are we finishing? I don't want to see you anymore. Please tell me. <laughs> No, it's because I think these levels are longer, right? Yep. We're missing 10 days. We're missing 10 days. Okay. So we, we will be done by Tuesday the 7th. Okay. March 7th. We're very close. Don't worry. You will not see me anymore. <laughs> okay, Dianita. Thank Excellent. you. Go okay. have, have some rest. Uh, to the gym. <laughs> Good night, Dianita. Good night, teacher.